Look at the sun shining down the Lord Tins. What up YouTube? It is currently peak week Monday. Woke up at around 10 o'clock this morning, weighed in at 73.4, very inflamed after legs, had a really, really, really good sleep. It's currently four o'clock, did some work and had a nap. All right, feeling super relaxed, super good, looked really dry and good this morning. We were in a perfect spot to start peak week. So my macros for peak week today, 2,500 calories. So fucking happy. So excited. I think it's like 350 grams of carbs, 38 fat and 205 protein, something like that. Oh, plus my walking pad came in as well. So I'm going to be fixing that up today. Super keen. Right, my first meal, I'll show you guys some of the meals that I have today. Good serving, good amount of wheat bix four wheat bix a little bit of milk, which I'm going to use for my coffee instead. Um, protein shake, Yopro. So the meals are going to be fucking amazing today. I'll show you guys a full day of eating. But first, let's do a quick physique check, right? Legs yesterday were super hard, but we got it done anyway. Did my so I think 17, 15 or 17,000 steps as well, which was crazy, super happy with that. Feeling super blessed and relaxed and just enjoying the sun today. It's gonna to be such a good fucking three days of high foods. It's a high day, so we love that, we love high days. Just been sipping on my um, glutamine and creatine, link in bio, 10% off, code and LT and my protein down the bottom. Run you through some quick posy, gonna have a shower. Feeling super relaxed, super zen down. I can feel all the cortisol and stress leaving the body. And then we're going to go have some food and do some work. And set up the, um, the walking pad as well. And just lay in the sun for a while. So let's have a look at some posing, baby. So water today. Water will also remain at 6 litres a day. And salt, we've fucked off iodine salt, but we're going to be upping sodium to, I think, about six and potassium to three or four. I'll have to double check and let you guys know because the increase of food should help with the thyroid. So we don't need those iodine salts anymore. Let's go. So a bit of posing. Let me see if you guys can see everything here. Yep. sense of posing this morning and send it to coach. <laughs> it's super dry, super flat. I'm not gonna pose too high because I've already posed a lot this morning. But Everything's feeling super sore and inflamed. Chest, legs, arms, every whole body feels really sore. However, I did have one of the best sleeps so far. And I slept about eight hours, including the nap. So I slept six hours, woke up, did work, had a coffee, all right? And then I was just in my in my room office and I was like, I've got so many things to do today, but I was just like, I just need to relax. Take peak week for what it is. And I slipped into bed again and had such a good nap. And I'm still like waking up from it. So a little bit of caffeine, a little bit of food. We should be ready to go. And then I've got to send coach another couple of progress photos and posing after my workout tonight, which will be good. And there's no cardio today, just steps and training, which such a blessing. So I'll catch you guys in meal one. I'll see you soon. Still waking up. Oh my God. Look at that. This is my first meal of peak week. 40 protein, 62 carbs, 
and three fat with a little bit of coffee with some almond milk in it. So that's my first meal for the day, which I'm super fucking excited about. Four fucking wheat bix. So sick of having the two wheat bix, but we finally made it. I'm gonna enjoy this. No seasonings as well today. Only salt. There was a little 60 mils of almond milk allowed in this meal, so I saved that for a coffee because coffee tastes so much better with milk. So we're gonna tuck into this massive bowl of wheat bix, guys. Oh, sipping that coffee with a little bit of fucking almond milk in it. This is a massive bowl of wheat bix, bro. I don't even remember the last time I've had a big bowl like this. So, fucking extremely excited, extremely grateful. Look how many berries I get as well. Fucking 100 grams of berries, bro. 200 grams of Yopro yogurt, four wheat bix. Only 15, I think 15 grams of protein powder I use as my milk. But, man, so fucking happy. And we're gonna fucking get to it. Also, look at this thing I got. I got this bulldog razor to help shave myself after. Um, it's so fancy. It's got like a fucking me a glass handle with like a replaceable thing. Usually, I just get disposable razors, so this is really fancy. And let's fucking get it. I'm gonna tuck into this meal, do some work, and set up my little treadmill in a second. So I'll catch you guys there. Welcome to meal two, mother truckers. So we've just got plain jasmine rice, jazzy rice, with a little bit of plain fucking chicken breast, <laughs> side of veggies, and salt. Let's get it. This was definitely my favorite meal. Holy fuck. It's pre-workout. Hercules protein. Look how fluffy this shit is once you blend it up with bananas and oats. Did not need any honey or anything like that. It was so sweet, delicious. This is marshmallow flavor, by the way. Link is in the description. This was fucking phenomenal. 10 out of 10, boys. YouTube! On the way to gym, and I don't have to do cardio. Fuck, I'm so happy. Ah, it's been a very, very solid, not even sat, that's satiating, but like, it's about nine o'clock now. I'm gonna go for an early gym session. Really want to have an early night. I'm feeling still very tired since the morning for some reason. So I've had three meals so far. Also, quick side note. Someone left another fucking note on my car. This neighbor who lives next to me, he's a fucking annoying cunt. This is the third time someone's left a note on my car in like two months. This guy twice. He left one on fucking Tati's car as well. He's such a fucking spineless clown. He'll just leave notes in your fucking car like a creep. Let's see what he says. This is a very good piece of paper as well. Perfect quality parchment. Kindly park further away from the driveway. We have been down this path before. Traffic from both ways is zooming down and makes it difficult for it to back out onto the driveway. Thanks for your cooperation and understanding. Get, get fucked. How does it make you hard? You don't have to fucking park like a... You literally just pull out of the driveway and turn out. That's it. I want to fucking bash the cunt. Oh, God. Loves leaving notes on fucking everyone's cars. Nothing better to do, man. Fucking this is what happens when you get old. You just literally become like the most fucking... Everything like... Oh, my God. Parking in front of your driver. Bro, I'm parking down the street. It's not... You don't own this shit, dumbass. Fuck that guy. Anyway. Second time he's left a note on my car. And Tati as well. It's so dangerous to leave notes on females cars that's how they get abducted or some shit apparently leave it in your car they stop to read it and then someone jumps you from the back in the ass great anyways guys sipping on my pre-workout pro tip i think that's my mum hey mum see ya bye i'm vlogging pro tip uh crush up some ice chuck it in the blender and then put your pre-workout in here so nice also so the three meals I've had so far, as you guys have seen, first one was just my wheat bix, which was very, very, very yummy. Four wheat bix, some Yopro, um, and some protein powder. Second meal was the bland one, which was actually really nice with a lot of salt, um, which is annoying because my salt has gone down from 12 grams of what it used to be, I think, or nine grams, sorry. 
yeah, 12th night, but now it's down to only eight today. So it feels like my soul container is already like fucking gone. And I've still got to season two more meals after gym, so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I just gotta fucking be, use it sparingly. Usually I like putting salt in my pre workout and EAAs, but I don't think that's happening today. Oh fuck, I forgot my Gatorade. That's alright. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'll just have to buy one at gym. Anyways, so I've had my wheat pick so far. Right, just fucking staring at me. My plain rice, veggies, and chicken. Portions are very small because the goal is to keep metabolic rate high, even though calories have gone up by about a thousand calories. And then pre workout, I've had my oats. That was a generous serving of oats with a banana and an LCM bar. Man, that LCM bar is like fucking crack. Once again, the eyes were rolling back doing the old odd job oh my god but today's been going well so far so now post workout i've got some chicken um pineapple and rice completely bland that'll, that'll go really nice with some salt and then to finish off the day some spud light small portion of minced meat and some veggies so not a lot of food but way more than what i'm used to and today we're going to be training some push. Goal is to train up, stay about two reps away from reserve. So two reps left in the chamber. Want to keep pushing down swelling. Give coach a photo of the physique post-workout as well. To show him how the rig's looking post-workout. And then send him how much I weigh pre-bed. And depending on all these factors, that will determine whether or not my food will change tomorrow. There's so much that goes into this shit, guys. You've got to be so precise. So, before this as well, I had to go for a quick little shop at Coles to get the, um, get the supplements, top up on the supplements, half price on fucking subs. Vitamins and shit at Coles, so pretty solid. So, we're going to go attack a fucking push session now. I'll show you guys what the pump looks like after. I feel pretty pretty good, pretty carved up, but always hungry. I still feel really hungry for some reason. I don't know why. But we just got to get it done. We just got to get it done. Once I start training, getting the adrenaline up, I know the hunger will subside. So let's get it. So meal four. Got my... This is actually quite a bit of rice that was given to me. 220 rice, 160 chicken breast raw, and 100 grams of pineapple. Not much salt left at all for my final meal. So this is my post-workout meal. Had a pretty good session. Still got about 4,000 steps left for the day. Tr trained, sent coach my post-workout posing. Sent him my weight post-workout, which was about 74. Post this meal, I'm really excited. What I'm gonna do is put my treadmill here, Black Lord treadmill. So we're going to set it up, post this, chuck on a movie, watch a movie while I finish off my steps and then have the last meal of the day, which is going to be some beef, not much, only 150 grams, um, some spud light, 350 grams of that and some veggies, which I'm super, super keen for. So we're going to tuck into this only about 400 calories for this whole thing, which is crazy. Again, not much salt left, but fuck, we got to make do. And yeah, gonna fucking tuck in. Bland as fuck, no seasoning allowed, only water as well. But that's all right, we're almost there. We've got to be perfect, got to nail this week. Just super grateful that I've got more food. Still really, really hungry, but got my baby spoon, baby fork on deck. Gonna eat super slowly, super satiatingly, chew about 30 times a bite and tuck into this meal, guys. I'll probably check in with you on my last meal or when I do cardio. Catch you guys soon. Not a bad setup, boys. Just sitting here. It's pretty good, it's pretty small. But I put it set up so I can just watch whatever the fuck I want in front of me. Got the steps going. There's a little remote which you can change the speed with. Faster, slower. Actually goes up to fucking speed nine, which is pretty quick. We're just gonna hop around five, six. Finish off the rest of the 4,000 steps here. Camp here for the next half an hour, 40 minutes, depending how long it takes me. Finish off the last meal, which is already cooked up. Beef, spotlight, a little bit of orange juice and some macadamia oil. 
Um, this thing even comes with a fucking Apple Watch or like a smart watch or something, which is pretty cool. It's charging up there. So that will show you your blood pressure apparently, steps obviously, calories burn and all that stuff. But I've got the Fitbit so I don't need it. But really good investment. I'll definitely be using this onwards after prep. Chuck on some basketball, do a bit of work while I get the steps in. Probably one of the best things I've bought this year. And it comes with a remote and I'm already out of breath. So pretty happy with this. Probably gonna move it up in my room soon or in the lounge where there's a TV. But I thought I'd just set it up here and give it a test run tonight. And yeah, pretty happy with it. Pretty smooth. Right, the black lodge stepping whatever. So super good setup. And we're gonna finish up the steps for the night, show you guys the last meal and call it a night. I'm gonna have my ZMA zinc magnesium before bed because that helped me sleep like a baby. Feeling really tired, but just wanna finish this off, knock this off and go to bed because it's already like two o'clock. So I wanna be up by 10 a.m. again tomorrow. Let's get it. Guys, I just noticed this thing shows calories burnt. And after I read the manual, apparently there's a Bluetooth speaker down there as well, which is pretty cool. And you can change the incline. So, watching a bit of Will Tennyson, if you know, you know. I'm gonna keep it at just the normal um, incline and gradient just because I don't wanna fuck around with it. I'm still learning this thing. But I'm gonna push out speed six, which seems pretty slow compared to a normal treadmill. And then it says every hour, yeah, you want to kind of give it a break as well so you can just cut off your cardio sessions for an hour walk max which is pretty good but yeah pretty sick it's got the, the calories burnt and then once i've charged up the watch and play around with that i'll give you guys a quick review of it but so far fucking elite really really loving this product so well done um blackboard this fucking standing pad is absolutely elite if you guys need to get your steps in and i just at home um struggling to get steps in especially now that it's cold and you've got a standing desk definitely spend time on your setup because man it's if you have a super efficient setup like you can smash your goals make money be productive and get everything done and then have even more personal time at the end of the day which is what we want right time is money more personal time you have less time you you're going to be stuck in the matrix so if you can do two, two things at once and still be productive Fucking do it. So this fucking black lord treadmill. I'll give it a 10 out of 10, man. This shit's mad. So catch you guys in the next meal. Catch you there. Oh, we made it. We made it. Final meal of the day. Whoops. We got a renewed orange juice, 250 mils, a little bit of veggies, macadamia oil, macadamia nut oil, leftover salt, tiny bit of beef, and some spudlight. 150 beef raw spudlight. Treadmill over there, a little bit of chunks in Philly. Perfect way to finish off the night. Smashed out 15k steps, went a bit over, got carried away watching a couple of shows. And now I'm gonna have, with my meal, my zinc, magnesium, ashwagandha. Where's my ashwagandha? And ZMA, ZMA. And this helps me sleep so well. And I can't wait to have drizzle that oil over the uh, potatoes and beef. That sustained slow release from the fats will let me sleep like an absolute baby. Lower all of my inflammation, feeling still feeling very sore and very tired. So I'm going to tuck into this. It's actually pretty... Pretty good that treadmill. I was working up a, I was getting the heart rate up to like a hundred, which is pretty close to fat burning. Say walking at a speed of seven, and super efficient. And of course, watching a bit of chunks in Philly. Fucking loving life now, lads. Finish off the rest of the salt. Quick rig check. Feeling super lean, super dry. And there you have it, guys. This is a full day of a high day of carb up on prep. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys. In the next video, let's fucking get a baby. Six, how many days now? Tuesday, it's technically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five days. And I'm getting my fade on Friday. So 
Let's get it, guys. I'll catch you in the guys in the next video.